Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Welcome to Five Fast Minutes. My name is Muhi Khwaja, and I'm with American Muslim Community Foundation. Today, we have Sharif Ali, who is the CEO of Islamic Relief USA. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me, Muhi. Ramadan okay. Kareem. Ramadan Mubarak to you as well. Um, so, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Where are you located? Yeah, sure. I've, uh, my name is Sharif Ali. I'm the CEO of Islamic Relief USA. I'm located right now in Maryland. Uh, our offices are in Alexandria, Virginia, our H, where our HQ is. Um, and I've been with Islamic Relief now for about six years and um, loving the work that we do, alhamdulillah. That's fantastic. And so appreciative of everything that IR has done. I'm sure many people like myself across the country, like 20, 25 years ago, uh, were hosting uh, iftars and fundraisers and everything of the sort. Um, so mad respect to IR uh, for being an OG in this field. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Mohi. So if you had two minutes to describe the work of IR, what would you say? Well, we started in 1993 as an emergency response and relief organization, and now we've grown to be able to help over 75 million people all across the world. We've assisted in over 40 countries across the world. We have partner offices in the UK, in Canada, in Australia, Germany, and Italy, and Spain, where uh, our work started with emergency response, graduated to orphan support, but now we're really focusing on building sustainable solutions for the most vulnerable in the world. We want people to be able to not only receive the relief that they need to get by that day, but also to build resilience in themselves so that they no longer have to rely on an organization like Islamic Relief any longer. Um, our job is to try to eradicate poverty. Um, hopefully one day that'll happen and Islamic Relief will be obsolete and no longer needed. Mm -hmm. But until then, we're going to continue working our best to provide relief and to find sustainable solutions to assist people in need all across the world. Beautiful. Um, if you had one minute to thank a donor, what would you tell them? Um, you know, this is a really important question because uh, when I go visit uh, those whom we serve in the field, uh, the first thing they do after thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thanking us uh, is they thank the donors um, and they make a dua for the donors and they say they they pray for them. Wow. Um, when I talk to the donors and I tell them, hey, your contribution is not just helping someone, but it's causing someone to pray on your behalf and making a prayer for you and thanking Allah for putting you in their life. Um, I think it's very, very impactful. I think donors sometimes don't know that people are making dua for them right. after they've made that contribution. And I, it's, it resonates with a lot of people. For sure. And there's that extra additional barakah in each gift that you make. And, you know, that's probably the reason, <laughs> one of the reasons why. Uh, yeah. So if you had a minute to talk about the work AMCF is doing, what would you say? Oh, I don't know if a minute is enough, <laughs> uh, but, uh, but AMCF is doing amazing work. It's such an important initiative in the Muslim community because it's really showcasing the maturation of our philanthropy. Um, as you know, the Muslim community is so generous and they're doing so much in so many different nonprofits and charitable institutions. But to be able to create sustainable funding solutions like the AMCF is creating is going to go a long way in growing our civil society space. Um, so I really, when I think of AMCF, I think of a, um, a leading institution, an institution that's going to help uh, grow the Muslim civil society space is going to really continue our maturation as a community. Um, so it's really exciting. It's really good to see what has come about in less than four years, you know. Thank you so much. Um, that means a lot to me. So in the final minute, if you could think of three other charities, we all know Islamic Relief is your favorite one, but three other charities, who would you want to shout out? Yeah, uh, obviously, Simon Khalif is my favorite. Um, I, I bleed blue, as they say. Uh, but we have some amazing uh, organizations that we work with. We're a national platform. Uh, we partner with a lot of organizations on the ground in the United States. Uh, but three that come to mind that are just doing amazing work is the Man International in Michigan, um, Amanda Refugee Services in Houston, right. and um, Sahaba Initiative in San Bernardino in California. All three of them are doing just transformative work, helping so many people and really doing great service in, on the local level. That's fantastic. And everyone can learn more about those organizations and more in our nonprofit directory on our website. Sharif, thank you so much for being on. I really appreciate your time and keep doing the amazing work at Islamic Relief. So, thank you again, Muhi.